at Sydney City Transport Vlogs here. I'm just here at Zigzag. Here departing from platform number two. We have a central bound service. This train will stop all stations to Emu Plains, followed by Penrith, Blacktown, Parramatta, Strathfield and Central. V40 is the set. Well, if you talk about a small station, you usually think of Wonderbine. Well, think about Wonderbine, but even smaller. This is Zigzag Station. The elevation is 998 metres above sea level. Facing The line facing towards Lithgow. And the line facing towards Sydney. You have to um, flag down the trains with uh, this green thing, I don't know, green metal thing, and um, yeah. Okay, so this is Zigzag um, Railway, I guess, Heritage Railway. Um, there's a lot of scrap heap here from a major bushfire that happened quite a few years ago I haven't got all the history there are things up there though which should say it I'll give you a look at uh, the other platform and then we might be able to have a look around the railway line up there as you can see this is platform one here at zigzag and it's a wooden platform both of them are this is the line facing towards Lithgow the line facing towards Sydney it's very quiet, and there's um, some sort of buzzing, and there's a locomotive, blue and yellow locomotive over there, called Emu Bay. And I guess we might have a look along the railway. See, there's Zigzag Station, and we've walked up here to nearly towards uh, bottom points. You've got. Uh, this zigzag railway is um, narrow gauge, so you've got to run Queensland rail stock, rolling stock, here. There's some creepy looking steam locomotive. You can see this is Bottom Points Railway Station. Unfortunately, this locomotive looks like it's been heavily graffitied and looks not the best condition. This is facing towards Top Points on the former Zigzag Railway line that's got used. It's now currently disused and um, is in the process of being restored. As you can see, there's a little sign up there saying Bottom Points. We're now here at Bottom Point Station. We've got a locomotive attached to some wooden carriages. Unfortunately, all of these have been heavily graffitied. You've got the Bottom Point Station seat, massively long and very interesting. And the Bottom Point Station sign, also very interesting. Just a quick sort of look inside. Yeah, it's so bad there's getting spider webs in there. It's not exactly the nicest place by the looks of things currently. Hopefully it'll be restored better and sooner. I'd like to thank all the people who are restoring this, um, these trains and the railway line in general. Um, fortunately there's a lot of graffiti along it. And it's not in its best state now, but I think give it a couple more years and a couple more volunteers will be good. Seems there's a couple of toilets, a bit of storage, I guess. It's just not in the best condition as it would be. Keep walking along. Glass, it looks like this is maybe a guard's cab or something of the like. 
There's an old telephone box there, another long station seat. I walk all the way down. Seems to be another carriage at the very end there. This is the entirety of bottom points on the zigzag railway. I have uh, done this exped expedition before and unfortunately uh, my phone corrupted the video so this one should hopefully be up and it looks like there's been some sort of work I'm not sure what's been happening anyway as you can see we're now walking along the zigzag railway line through two top points. One day we might even walk all the way to Clarence. That's further. As you can see, there's just a seat there. Pardon? I don't know. Maybe there used to be something here. I think the last time I went here, there might have been a sign somewhere around this area. Ah, uh, there it is. Just underneath all the undergrowth. It's Sea Gardens. If you can just make it out, there's this wooden sign there. It's a little fire depot yeah. things. Right there. There's a little fire something, I don't know. It's quite a long walk all the way through. As you can see, there's the entrance to a short tunnel. Okay, we're now entering the tunnel. Viaduct in the distance. And uh, very, another viaduct, the one that leads towards Clarence, not that far away. As you can see, this is just a disused platform just sitting here. By the looks of things, it doesn't have a name, so not sure what it's here for. Looks like there's a few picnic tables, an old seat. And what appears to be an old mailbox. I think that's just guards reports or something in there. 
maybe if you're lucky, probably empty. And some more history, I guess. There's the viaduct up there. Guess we can walk along here to this little history point, see what it's got to say. This is uh, the number one viaduct. Just pause if you want to read that. Okay, the line, the line facing towards sea gardens and uh, bottom points and the line facing further north um, to further west I should say um, to top points. This video has been recording for 12 minutes now. It's taken us 12 minutes to call, what should we call this stuff here? Hmm? Okay, continuing on from, I guess, that little stop back there, we'll call it Picnic Point for now. And uh, I guess we're about to enter the next viaduct. And this is the amazing view from up here. If you want to have a look down there, there is the current active railway line. Down there. Along there. Photos. I think the view gets a bit um, less bushy as we go along. So um, let's continue. Unfortunately, to make our train um, to Lithgow to catch the express back into Central, uh, we won't be able to make it all the way to top points today. Uh, I apologise for that. But um, we might come up here in the winter holidays for to see Zigzag during winter. To see... I don't know if the railway will be open. It probably won't. And, um, yeah, we might walk along here again. If we've got more time, see, and hopefully there will be a bit of snow. We'll go up to this signal here and then we'll turn back. I'm sorry that we couldn't film the entire thing, but I guess we'll miss our train if we um uh if we don't um you know if we continue this all the way to top points we would miss our train so we've got to end it at this signal here. I don't know much about these type of signals. Here is the view. You can see things coming for kilometres away. Look at that. There's the train line to Sydney. Train line just barely see it to Lithgow. We'll just get up here to the signal. We'll take a few photos. And I'll film when we get back into Zigzag Station as our train arrives.
just around the curb from here, just around the corner from here, is um, a signal box called Nowhere Special. It has its own little platform and everything. And I guess um, we won't be able to, we would make it, but you know, we wouldn't make it back for our train. So, as you can see, just the signal up there. Now there's no support there, so we'll move to the centre of this. More safer. And as you can see, that's the signal up there. Tracks facing top points and towards Clarence. And these tracks facing towards um, Zigzag Railway Station and the tracks facing towards Sydney. So I guess that's all for the Zigzag Railway exploration so far. And I guess we'll see you back at the station. Train arriving here at Zigzag platform number... <laughs> number two. Train is, it will stop at Lisco. Just hold it up, okay? There he is. Anyway guys, thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Also subscribe to my friends' channels. Find me on all the social media. All the links to all of that. And for, find my, have a look at my website. All the links to all of that. And back at my channel. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you. Thank you.